Okay, so today, um, I've been wanting to do a video about North Korea for quite a while. Um, there's been a lot of instability in the region, and um, you know, living out here in Hawaii, uh, it tends to come up a lot and talk. You know, when they start talking about like all oh, nuclear weapons and what might happen. Um, but there's like three areas that I really want to talk about. Um, first one is um, how worried should we be. And then the second one is, uh, what can China do to help this process, or what have they been doing to prolong this process with North Korea? And um, also just general talks about, like, North, uh, I'm sorry, the nuclear program. Um, so first, how worried should we be? Um, I have a feeling, you know, in America, uh, we tend to be really scared of whatever's going on in the world. Like, everything's a big deal, and we make such a big deal. Oh, my God, like, oh, nuclear bombs and everything. Um, first off, you know, we're pretty sure that uh, North Korea does not have the capability to send off um, nuclear warheads uh, beyond a certain radius. Um, I think they said somewhere around like 4,000 kilometers, um, which is just in the region of Guam and um, just outside of the region of Hawaii and Alaska. So um, there's really no, not much of a threat there, um, but uh, South Korea and Japan uh, definitely within that area. Um, a lot of people don't know or really understand like the whole deal that we have with uh, South Korea is, I mean, they're an ally of ours. We are um, a protectorate of Japan and of Korea, uh, South Korea. Um, so if a war does spark up, you know, we're definitely going to be in the mix of it. Um, which brings me to a topic later of um, should we really be throwing resources at North Korea. Um, so um, I've also lived in Japan and um, being being that Japan is so close to North Korea um, they definitely are worried about these type of things and uh, the nuclear threat um, but it's also a good thing that you know the U.S. is in North Korea and, and I'm sorry in South Korea and also in Japan um, so we have a um, a really good process or a really good um, place where we can be based at. Um, this brings me on to China. So what has China been doing to prolong this process or um, help out North Korea? Really, um, about 70% of the trading uh, with North Korea uh, is from China. Um, so 70% goes from China to North Korea and only 1% goes from North Korea back to China. So really, in the end, um, China is making money, I guess, off of North Korea, although um, there's not really much of a great process going on there. So they're not really winning out. There's only one region in China that's really getting enough um, money, I guess, per se, from North Korea. So in the end, it's just North Korea winning out, um, and then China just keeps on backing them. Um, ultimately, China, if they totally made an embargo against North Korea, North Korea would be like crushed. They would be absolutely crushed. There would be nothing that they could do. Most of their food aid, most of their food comes from North Korea. I'm sorry, from China, and um, most of their um, imports come from China. So almost everything that North Korea is getting is coming from China. So ultimately the way I see it is that China is prolonging this process. Um, ultimately I think that North Korea should basically be embargoed against. Um, I know a lot of people probably wouldn't agree with this, but in the end um, most of the food aid goes there. If you mess with someone's food it's been historically proven that they will probably revolt or something bad enough will happen that, you know, the economy will crash or something, you know, something bad enough will happen that things will change. This process has been going on for like 60 years now, since 1953 when the war ended in Korea. So, um, there was also, um, a statement by John Kerry, um, who was in the region doing um, talks with about the UN and everything, and they said that they're not going to be going into the same types of talks that they had in the past. So in the past, they've just done things like 
oh, you know, we'll give you some food aid if you shut down your nuclear program, whatever, um, which just isn't the type of thing that's going to work anymore. We know now that they just take the food or they take um, aid and then they go and they're like, oh, okay, we're going to go back on our, our peace treaty and now we're going to start up our nuclear program again. Um, it's just this process of like, hey, give us attention, give us attention, now we're going to try and do something crazy and look crazy, and then you're going to give us what we want. Um, just hasn't been working, and finally I'm happy that the United States and the UN is going to start looking at this and just saying, hey, we're not going to just sit here and like make the whole world scared of you, even though they really shouldn't be. Um, but in the end it comes down to, you know, politics. and. I think that politics really aren't going to work in this type of situation because they just keep on going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, again, going back to China, um, you know, they're not too happy with the way that North Korea isn't acting and they don't want war on their doorstep either. So, ultimately I think China is the key factor to North Korea. If they stop um, importing and exporting to on North Korea, it's going to be a huge blow to, to what they do. Um, uh, recently, uh, within uh, recent time, they had they've said a few quotes that um, no one should be allowed to throw a region and even the whole world into chaos for selfish gains. It wasn't directly um, said to nor about North Korea, but um, they've been saying plenty of things that have been making them. Um, upset with North Korea because they're kind of being thrown into the mix with this as well um, and I'm sure China doesn't want to get uh, too involved with this because ultimately you know they deal with a lot of stuff in um, in within the region um, and they don't want to get thrown in too much um, going on to the nuclear program of just North Korea um, Really, um, any country that is in this type of position, you know, Israel, Iran, um, North Korea, they all want to show their power and say, hey, we have nuclear weapons. Um, the thing is that even if they do have nuclear weapons, um, they're not in a mutually assured, assured destruction type thing, MAD. Um, they could send off maybe one or two small nuclear weapons um, which would be probably sent to somewhere close, which I would assume Seoul or somewhere in South Korea. Um, and then everyone else would just basically destroy them. Um, and then if it did actually come to that, all we would have to do is just not send them any food aid and they would basically starve out. Um, these are a few of the hypothetical ideas that I have. I'm sure there are many more out there. I can think of probably ten more if I really want to sit here and think about it. Um, but in the end, who wants to throw resources at North Korea? Like, nobody does. So many millions and billions of dollars are going towards um, just this small country that produces basically nothing and just is like a scary little threat in the middle of the, the Asian peninsula. So, in the end, how much money should we be throwing at this? In my in my opinion, I don't think we should be throwing anything at North Korea. I think it should be leave them alone, let them do their own thing, and let's not spend any more money on it. Um, ultimately, I mean, China is helping out Korea, and they're really not helping with the situation at all. So, um, just a few opinions. Just wanted to see if anybody has any other comments that they want to do. Um, and truly my opinions on this depend on what I'm reading for the day so if you want to comment and um, say something um, let me know what's up I will take your opinions whatever you have to say and uh, hopefully um, get a little de debate going on or um, we'll see what happens here in the future but ultimately I don't think that anything politically speaking, is going to happen <laughs> uh, with North Korea. Nothing good is going to come on. Um, speaking politics is either going to drag on for a long time or something's going to happen. Um, and it's all just a, a game.
game of, you know, what do we want to do? What, how much do we want to put into this? And how much are they gonna, are they gonna force out of us? So um, that's all I have to say. And I'm just kind of dragging on, but uh, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully something like this can get resolved in the future.